guys and welcome back to the channel y'all so we are starting a new vlog today so if you're new hi welcome to my channel and if you're returning hey guys welcome back i appreciate you guys as always so guys um okay this this is what's going on right <laughs> okay wayfair is getting on my nerves <laughs> so uh, my bed decides that it want to keep pushing the date back and it's really really inconvenient to me my initial date was on the 7th okay today is officially the 8th um and then they push it to the 8th okay and then now only one was out for delivery and it just got delivered which was the headboard but the second one is not coming until tomorrow i'm just trying to be patient it is sitting right here so i did um open it already just to see how the color actually came out so i'm super excited to reveal that to you guys today um so i did open it up already this is just the headboard which looks pretty long but i will set it up in the room just to see how long it is on the wall just so we can see which side it's gonna go on so we're gonna do all that little fun stuff today yeah that is so crazy how that bed is not here well at least the whole bed comment below are you guys having delays with your deliveries too but see i know when it comes to them beds and stuff it can get real technical then by the time christmas come i want to be chilling so i'm trying to really get everything done and out the way because i want to be able to chill because i've been putting in work so that's why i just want to like get the bed get it set up have a nice comfortable sleep i really haven't slept really good the last couple days because i don't put the other bed in there girl And now I'm just like, I'm not sleeping on that couch no more tonight. <laughs> like, that is so cute. But yeah, I don't want to sleep on that couch again tonight because it make my back hurt. And I'm like, this bed taking forever. I don't know. Um, all I can do is wait. Like I said, we got the headboard. Thank goodness for that because at least we got half of it, I guess. Let's go to the living room, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and I had wanted to show you guys some boots that I ended up getting from Marshalls recently. Comment below if you guys shop at Marshalls, but I have been shopping at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx lately, especially for like my vitamin C serums for my face and stuff like that because they be having like the best ones in my cam. So um, I did get some boots that I want to show you guys um, that I got from Marshalls recently, and then. I think I'll take the bed into the room and then we'll, you know, see what that king hitting like, sis. Now, the first boots I want to show y'all is these boots right here. Now, these boots right here, <laughs> I know they're different, but I feel like I can really, like, style these really cute, especially with, like, my long coats and stuff. So, the first boots I did get is these boots. Uh, the brand is DV. DV. Or, like, comment let me know if you guys ever, um seen these or got them but my first ones are these boots right here i just thought they were super duper cute and of course they're all black and i just love like just like the combat of them and i like the chunky um little um heel as well this is how the bottom look i do wear a nine and a half so i did go ahead and get a 10 just so i can um have enough room for if i want to do like a thick sock or a thin sock or just like whatever so I, I did end up getting a 10 in these and I just love the pattern. I think they're super cute. This is how the top looks. And then it just has like this like pattern in there. Really cute. Love these. And these are in a 10. And I just think these will go really cute with um, black leggings, a cream trench coat, a light cream sweater. Ah, that'll be fine. Look, I don't know how I put the outfit in my head. Because the thing is, when I got this boot, I knew exactly what styles I had wanted to do with these kind of boots. I think leggings will go really cute with these with oversized coats any day, okay? So, you can do jeans as well, but when I got these, I was definitely thinking about leggings with these. They're super cute, a size 10. And I did, let me see, these were only $29.99, so they were actually a really good deal. And like I said, they did come from Marshalls, $29.99, uh, black. The heel is super cute. And surprisingly, I know they may not look comfortable, but y'all, they're actually comfortable. 
and what I love about them is that my feet don't hit the ground right away like because it has like such a thick like sole right here your feet don't go straight to the ground so it kind of like give your feet support and I got a flat foot so <laughs> that's kind of important for me okay so these are super cute so these were the first boots that I got uh, for Christmas but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bring these out and put them um, up in my closet because I need to start wearing these really cute like I said it's that S10 the next ones I got y'all so I hadn't really had these boots for real before um now these the texture is different and then also it's a neutral shoe but I really felt like I needed a neutral shoe um neutral goes with black creams whatever but this boot in particular I just feel like was very different and I'm just glad I did not pass up on these boots because they were really cute but I did end up getting these like neutral like brown um like kind of boot it's really nice and these actually came from Marshalls as well and as you see it has the little brown bottom super cute and the top laces all the way up I just love these kind of boots I think they're very classic and they just look really good okay and I also got these in a size 10 as well now this brand is lucky lucky brand um, like I said comment below if you guys have seen these shoes in Marshalls or not now these was a little bit on the pricier side well obviously more than the other one but these were actually $49.99 but the quality is there and that's why I didn't mind getting them now the inside is like a peanut butter color so that's how the inside look but these are very comfortable again with the chunky heel I just love this style shoe with the chunky heel the sole is it's pretty thick the material on the shoe is a um, suede material so yeah these are like a suede material and then it has like a little um, stretchy part in the back that actually stretches as well where you can actually stretch for like you know any of my girls who got like fatter ankles or calves or whatever so that was a really good um feature but overall the overall the boot is absolutely gorgeous i love the detailing in it super cute and this is just like one of those neutral shoes that you can always just wear with like a cute little neutral sweater a pair of jeans and literally call it a day this is like the perfect neutral boot for the fall and the winter like i said i've already pictured this in my head because i got like all my cream sweaters like my forest green sweaters and stuff like that long sweaters this can easily be paired with a pair of jeans or like i said a pair of leggings with an oversized sweater also this would be really cute with a pair of jeans and a white turtleneck like the white turtleneck that i had on like a couple of blouses ago this would go real cute with that too so i can really see this with white these are cute so these are the second ones that i got those are basically all the boots that i end up getting from marshall's like i said they just have a ton of boots like and then what i love about marshall's and tj Maxx too um when it comes to their clothing and their boots and shoes and stuff it's just better quality to me um versus going to like a burlington or a ross you can just definitely tell the difference in the quality like comment below if you feel the same way like if you know quality then like comment below and like let me know like can you relate about TJ Maxx and Marshalls really having like just better quality stuff than like a Ross or a Burlington because even though Ross and Burlington be having like cheaper clothes and stuff it actually looks cheap right and I know I don't even want to feel like that it okay guys so there she is we have the headboard in here it is super heavy it says it's about 75 pounds so it's really heavy but it's actually um when i step back here it's not as long as i thought it was gonna be it's kind of giving queen vibes but um it don't look as long as i thought it was gonna be so i might can keep this after dressers. i'm not sure um we're just gonna see and then i'm trying to debate like if i want it against um this window right here or do i want it over here now it was over here but when i moved my black bed from over here and put it right here i feel like it just like brought in like a lot of light and i'm not sure if i want to 
cover this up anymore because I actually like what it's given when nothing is on that wall because I'm able to get my light. So, like for example, let me see. So, you know, see, this is like my light window. So that's why I feel like I want this window to stay available because that's where like all my light come from. So, basically, I think I'm gonna put it on this wall. I'm gonna just, let me see. I'm gonna just scoot it over here to see how it looks and then see if I can still get it to um, be even on both sides, kind of like in the middle of the window. So, but comment below, like, do you guys think I should put it on this wall or this wall? I mean, I'm pretty much gonna put it on this wall, but I just wanna see what y'all think too as well. Um, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot up over here in the middle and then we're gonna see what it do. It actually doesn't look as big as I thought, but it's definitely bigger than the full. Ain't no denying that. <laughs> it's definitely bigger than the full. Um, but I feel like it's not as wide as I thought it was gonna be. Like I said, now we don't, um, you know, we haven't put like this on here. So like I know once all this is in here, it's definitely gonna take up more space, but so far, um, I can deal with the width. Um, I still think it will be cohesive and I will be able to probably keep my mirrors right here and then also still put like um, little side dressers on the side. Again, not sure if, if I'll use the ones that I have now or just get some other ones, but it's good to know that it's not that long um, and it won't take up a ton of space and then I can still ultimately decorate the way that I want to, okay? So. We're going to go ahead and try to take this out the box real quick so we can reveal the color.
we are about to go ahead and put together what we actually have. That way, when the other stuff comes tomorrow, um, we'll already have this um, part together, which is like the headboard and put like the wing backs on the headboard and stuff like that. So that's what we're about to go ahead and do right now. So y'all, this is like a peek at the color, super cute. So this is what we working with, okay? It's velvet, it has the nail head trim, and this is how the other side looks. So yeah, these are basically the um, wing backs, which looks pretty good. So yeah, those are the wing backs right there. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is officially a new day and the rest of the packages did come. So we are gonna put up part two of the bed. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a new 
little bag. So today's unboxing is going to be by the company called Teddy Blake New York that is based out of New York that sells luxury handbags but at a fraction of the price and their bags are all made from Italy just very good quality this is actually not my first time working with Teddy Blake so I'm super excited to um, show you guys the other bags that I got so the first one was like my black bag which was so cute like and I actually wore it the other day um, and this one I actually ended up getting in like another little different color so I want you guys to let me know what you think Teddy Blake is very nice handbag company that specialize in fine leather and can also just give you that luxury feel without having to pay a you know ton of money and you can still get luxury for less but still have really good quality so i want to thank teddy blake for sending me this bag today and then we're going to go ahead and review it here so i'm super excited so guys this is the box right here it actually comes packaged like this really nice and then when you open it up it actually has like a magnet box so you open it up like this and this is how the inside looks very just like looks i love the inside it's really nice actually when you open the um bag it says teddy blake new york designer handbags made in italy luxury leather it says each teddy blake handbag has been made has been made with you in mind with an extension of your unique style and flatters your every fashion choice so i just love teddy blake because y'all on the website they literally have so many colors just so many different styles and actually this is like the first website that i've ever seen that actually have so many choices like them so so that is definitely a good thing because a lot of bags just don't have a lot of choices but teddy blake has leather bags um suede bags they definitely have a lot of different bags for different choices for you guys out there to choose from when you open up the bag this is how the box looks. everything is packaged very very nice that's another thing i like about teddy blake is that everything's always packaged so well like you really get that luxury experience and that's what i just love is that they always make sure you get that luxury experience as well um so this is how everything looks so when you take it out of the package it'll look like this it'll come in a package with a um little dust bag and then also some plastic on it just to protect the bag the inside it says share your look with us on instagram so that's how it looks in the inside so you can go on instagram and um actually hashtag teddy blake and you will um probably get reposted honestly the box is really nice like i said before I uh, love these boxes like they're super cute you can put these up in your closet so not only do you get like a nice bag but you can also get like a little accessory piece to put up in your closet as well I am so excited like because like I said I have never um had this color before so I'm just so excited like I said everything is packaged very nicely I love that they take that extra step to make sure that you're getting a package that's packaged very nicely so it does come in a dust bag like this and it actually says Teddy Blake on it and it's really nice and it's like a cream color and actually the material of the dust bag is actually super soft i don't think i noticed that last time so the dust bag is really nice <laughs> oh my okay y'all look oh my goodness you guys this is absolutely gorgeous can you guys see the color that i end up getting is in like a nude color and i just really wanted something that will go with everything so i did get the teddy blake in the nude color y'all it looks so nice like okay this is how the inside looks so far let's go ahead and take her out here so she got her tags right there it also comes with a long strap as well i love the short strap i'm definitely a short strap girl and i just love this it's just so luxe it looks really nice and then in the inside you got some paper in here okay but the inside is really nice oh wow oh this is nice okay so this is how the inside of it looks so you have like a little pocket right here and it's actually um look like a suede in the middle really nice um this zipper right here is what goes to the pocket right there so oh this is really nice so you got the little zipper right there on the side it smells it smells like good quality and then what i like about teddy blake bags too is that they always got this little um little buckle on the side where you can actually extend your purse so you can always take this and like open it up like that 
you know what I'm saying, for like extra room. So that's what I love about their purses too, um, is that you're always able to extend your purse so it'll be like that. You see what I'm saying? And you just have more room. I mean, the leather on it is just so soft. I'm so glad that I decided to do a leather one because I'm really able to get that real leather feel and just see how it really feels. This is how the bottom look. Everything is structured so well. You can get like your sister a gift, your mom a gift. You can use this for anybody to get a gift for for the holidays. This is the perfect time to get them a bag. And they have some really nice bags on their website. And I also have a coupon code below for you guys to um, get a discount as well. So I want to thank Teddy Blake for sending me this bag. Now let's get to the rest of the video. Is y'all ready for the season finale? <laughs> Is y'all ready for the season finale? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you guys, look at her. She looks so good. So if anybody guessed gray, then baby, you got it right, baby. You got it right. So y'all, she is gray, honey, and she is looking so good. She's looking so good. So my other bed is kind of similar, but I didn't have like these chrome legs. So I thought that was really cute. And like I said, the material on it is like a velvet. So it's really nice. You guys know that I love that velvet feel. Now I did see a comment where a girl was like, girl, she about to go out neutral on us. And Hit us with the pumpous grass and all that. Sis, you must not know me like that. Tell her in the comments, baby. Y'all should have known Imani was not about to go neutral. Okay? Now, I throw a little something, something in my closet slash office. But, baby, when it comes to this room, y'all know it's either gray, black, or white. Okay? Now, what I will say about the gray is that I feel like I can add a few more colors. Um... And it just kind of just, like, lightens up the room, too, as well. Now, this is the king bed, you guys. Now, what I was afraid of was it being too big. Now, is it big? Yes. However, y'all, if I wanted to still fit some little narrow nightstands on the side, I could. Okay? It may not look like I can, but trust me, I can still put nightstands on the side. Now, I am not keeping the bed right here. I am thinking about moving the bed to this wall so I can have this window open. The bed did come from Wayfair and it is a king bed. So, and like I said, this is the headboard. And if you turn this way, you'll get like the true color of the gray, okay? But like I said, this is the headboard, absolutely gorgeous. And y'all, we got a king bed. Like y'all don't even understand how excited I am about this, how excited I am to decorate. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just very excited. Just to put like new decor and just everything. I am just so, so excited, guys. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like it? You guys know that I love it, honey. If it wasn't gray, then baby, what was it going to be? Because I wasn't going to get black again. That just didn't make sense to me personally. And I wasn't going to do white because, I mean, white is cool, but I just feel like gray was just like that color to go for. And I just like the gray. I think it looks really cute and I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys think. That is going to close out today's video. I love y'all so much. We finally got the bed up and now we are just waiting on the mattress. So make sure you stay tuned for future videos and thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.